there's been a lot of conjecture about the primary weapons and heroes and generals. People looking to find the best and most versatile weapons for as many scenarios as possible, considering things like damage per second, accuracy and recoil, carry weight, response time and more. But there's one hidden stat that is often neglected in these arguments. The sex appeal. Each gun has its own unique energy field, and influences the aura surrounding the person holding it. So the question is, what does your gun choice say about you? If you're toting a stock semi-auto rifle, a Garand, an SVT, or a Gewehr, you're one of two things. You're either green as grass noob who hasn't been able to find something better yet, or you've realized that when properly modded, semi-auto rifles are one of the most versatile and effective pieces of gear out there. You're a soldier with a healthy respect for both precision and firepower. Bolt actions are another weapon class with two main stereotypes. On the one hand, you have the vast majority, the frisky one-night stands. Sure, sometimes you get away with one hit killing a noob, but all too often, when you run into heavy set, or even just two enemies in close quarters, you'll find yourself sitting in the respawn queue with god knows what infections, and seriously reconsidering your strategy. Alternatively, there's the snipers who have the skill to hit headshots, and just want the most speed they can get while still having better accuracy than a semi-auto. These marksmen are few and far between. Solitary, independent men but nonetheless an inspiration to us all. The MG-13 is the basement dweller of the bunch, but he has rich parents. If you choose the MG-13, you don't use it because you like it, because it looks or feels nice, or has any particular niche. It's boring as hell and ugly as fuck, but that doesn't matter to you. You're only with him for his stats. Uh, The STG-44 is MG-13's hillbilly cousin. The same story, but less rich and more obsessed with assault rifles, and probably named something racist. Maybe you're hanging out with him because you liked him back in the day and don't want to move on, even though he isn't any good anymore. The AVS-36, by contrast, is the most popular girl in school. Oh, she's amazing, alright. And nobody's going to give you shit if she's your favourite, because she's probably theirs too. But even though there's enough AVS to go around, doesn't it feel wrong to be just another basic bro crushing on her? M1M2 is a scrappy little bastard. He's a street rat and he's quick back on his feet. But he keeps picking fights he can't win. He doesn't have the same raw power as his big brother MG42, who constantly has to save the runt's ass. He somehow manages to do it in a more refined manner too. PTRS is a monster of a man. He's a silent, seven-foot-tall Eurasian who looks like he could win a fistfight with a polar bear. Yet, he usually tries to avoid fights with the other primary weapons. Maybe there's a good reason for that. PTRD, by contrast, is more of a wispy tech support. Sometimes you have very specific problem, which he's sometimes able to solve, at which point you promptly return him to his dark closet and forget about him. The LMG gang are bros, and take good care of each other. MG34, DP28 and DT29, BAR and M1919A6. They're dependable in any situation, and tend to bully out the competition in most places. The LMG gang know how to have a good time, and you can always rely on them in a pinch. Loosely related to them, but hanging outside, is Johnson. Johnson's short, red, angry, and doesn't like criticism, but he has one hell of a right hook. His tantrums only last for about two seconds tops, at which point he tends to get thrown out of the pub. Maxim Tokarev, or as he likes to call himself, Maximum Tokarev, will not shut up about his enormous... <clears throat> magazine. I mean, credit where credit's due, he certainly lasts a while. But is it worth it going for twice as long, if you're only enjoying it half as much? Somewhere miles away are the various sidearms. 
someone like Carvin TK is something of a childhood sweetheart. Uh, maybe you overlooked her earlier, thought she wasn't interesting or powerful enough for a man like you, but when everyone else has deserted you, your pistol is the one who's always by your side. The SMG gang, including PPS, Tommy, MP40, and PPSH, are thick as thieves, but in recent years, I've seen them lose a lot of territory. The LMG gang always seem to be pushing them out of their old turf, and the little guys struggle to stand up to them in a head-on fight. But they have one thing on their side, speed. They make up for their lack of weight by being quick on the draw, quick to pounce on opportunity, and quick to scarper when the fuzz shows up. Meanwhile, their little brothers, the PPD, M3, and MP34, are stuck at home and it's past their bedtime. They want to join in, but they don't have a hope in hell of keeping up with the big kids. And maybe that's for the best. Oh, and the FG-42 is the second coming of Christ. This is not a joke, it's an undeniable fact. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, humorous take on the weapons and heroes and generals. If you did, make sure to leave a like so I know you're enjoying the content. Stick around, subscribe to see more when it comes out. Leave a comment letting me know your favourite gun, or what kinds of videos you'd like to see next. Stay awesome, everybody.